ESPN, you good? Yeah. All right, Coach, uh, you can start us off some opening comments. Uh, extremely uh, pleased with uh, taking the Egg Bowl back to Oxford. It's, uh, yeah, it's been difficult, uh, for, as, as many of you have pointed out all week long. But, uh, it's, it's difficult to win this on the road. And, um, and you know, when you're playing in a hostile environment, I uh, was real pleased with our kids' preparation. I want to say this, too. The, some of the some of the the way our world goes now, and I know it is what it is, but it's unfortunate that uh, the loser of this game uh, gets to get raked over the coals by, by some of you guys. Uh, both both teams have had good years, and it, uh, it speaks volumes that that uh, this this game now means something nationally, and uh, it's a credit to to both staffs, both kids, administrations that are investing. And making our, our programs relevant, I think it's great for our state, and uh, I hope you'll take that into consideration as you uh, as, as you write about uh, the years, because both teams have had good years, and it's really unfortunate that um, that uh, some of them have to, you know, get criticized or whatever it is. I know that's just the, the way our sport is, but again, really pleased with our kids. I just thought to all week long, I thought they were ready. And, uh, loved our preparation, loved the plan we had all week. And uh, excited to, again, take that egg back to Oxford. It means so much to our, our people and to our program. And uh, thrilled, excited. I know that we're, uh, there's one negative is we're, we're fourth and 25 from going to Atlanta. Now, we could dwell on that and the what ifs and all of that, but I think it speaks volumes of where we've come in, uh, in just our, our four years here. And, uh, kind of stinks, but uh, but you know what? We'll we'll uh, we'll go to a great bowl game somewhere, hopefully, and uh, look forward to competing again. You along those lines, this team's legacy. I know you have a bowl left and all that, but this 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 team's legacy going forward. What do you think it is? Gosh, I think in time. Um, you know, we'll, we'll certainly be able to know, but I, I want to say that uh, I think that uh, this group has made us nationally relevant. And, uh, you know, I think that's going to help us continue to recruit at a high level and bring in kids like Robert Kendici and Larry Tunsil and Laquan Treadwells, and, uh, which ultimately you've got to have some of those to, to go to Atlanta, you know, which you know, that's what we want to do. And we were very, very, I mean, we are whiskers here, you know, from doing that this year. And um, I, I think because of this team, and obviously holding the Magnolia Bowl and the Egg Bowl at the same time, that is hard for, uh, that, that's big for our program. And uh, I, th I don't think we have a losing record against anybody in the SEC West. And again, to come from where we did four years ago, I think this group, that is the legacy of it. It made us relevant. It's hard for anyone to argue that. But I think we're uh, we're, we're getting close to, to even being beyond that and playing a significant role in who decides this conference. And every year is different. Who knows what next year holds? You see that all the time with uh, teams. That, so we've got to find a way to be consistent. Hugh Chad was turnover free for the third straight game. What's different about the way he's protecting the ball? Uh, I, I think just the added focus and more comfort in the system. You know, he, he's. He forced some things early on in the season, and uh, I think he's. I think another thing that probably helped him is we made a decision about three weeks ago with the last three games. All right, now it's time to put our quarterback runs in. And I don't know if those gave him the comfort to pull it down and scramble more. Early in the year, we were not calling any of those runs because you want to protect him, take care of him, get it through the year. And uh, so with about three to go, we said, all right, it's time to let's be who we. Let's do everything we can do. And I don't know, I think that gave him an additional freedom or, or feeling anyway, man. You know what, as soon as I feel things breaking down, I'm going to use my legs. And that helped him probably not force some. 28-3, obviously, was a big key to the game that I have. Yeah, I loved the way we started. I, I felt like uh, our D-line was an advantage going into the game. Um, the, the problem we've had, and it showed again tonight, is just we, we've got a depth issue with all the injuries we've suffered. 
on, on the defense. And man, we get we get tired. You're playing a tremendous competitor in Dak, and you know he's not going to go away. He's going to continue to come at you, come at you, come at you. But I, I think uh, if there's a negative, you know, it's to miss field goals. I mean, you you make those, and you know the game can get out of hand. Not out of hand, but we've got a comfort, com more comfortable lead, and our special teams did not play particularly well tonight, and uh, we needed those points at that time for sure. Hugh, for it to come from Arkansas and then to win and against LSU and then to come here and win, what do you think it says about the resiliency of the team and just to bounce back? Yeah. You said they bounced back from the here. Well, I've said this before. Our kids and our staff, if you look at the course of history, we, we have been able to bounce back from gut-wrenching, difficult deals. I think it speaks, to be very candid, I think it speaks to our faith, our faith in um, something bigger than, than us and in each other, and, um, and, and us being able to model that with the consistency around the office, never too high, never too low. You know, that's something I want to be known for, and, and I think our kids have kind of responded to during those difficult times to that. When you're playing your best football before the first half, we've seen time this year. How, how good is this team? I wish we were playing next week in Atlanta. I, I think we'd win. You know, that's that's what I feel. But uh, you know, we're, we're not. But that speaks to to say that you have a team that could go and win that conference. I think says what I feel about our guys right now. You how much does it mean to you that you guys won two in a row and that you're bringing one since you got here? Yeah, well, you guys probably get to decide that for me. But uh, I've said all along, you, you follow this, you know, and I understand the importance of this game, and I don't run from it. I know that I'll be judged upon this game, uh, and so will Dan, fairly or unfairly, how much that weighs. Uh, you know what? I don't get to decide that. Our administration, their administration, and, and you guys get to, but there is no running from it. It, it is huge game on your schedule and it's one when you win it it makes Christmas much much sweeter and, uh, and and recruiting and the whole year long my summer golf I can enjoy it more I don't have to duck and hide and I'm at Old Waverly where I like to go and um, you know it's just uh, it, it means a lot to our fans and to, to our kids you know I mean CJ Johnson it means a lot to him. These Mississippi kids, they, they have to do life together. So do the people going to church tomorrow and next week at work. And you know, it, it makes you, it's important. You, Dak, obviously, such a big big part of what they do and an emotional night for him. Did, did you sense him pressing a little bit early on? No, I just thought we got after him, hurt him. I thought he was very uncomfortable in the pocket. And that was our goal, is to get after him early and uh, make him one dimensional. And, Again, I have great respect for Dak, and he, he's been. A, I'm glad I got to see him after the game to tell him that, and um, I'm glad he's uh, moving on. Going into this season, he does. He is through, right? <laughs> Go.